You okay with covering for me now? Absolutely. I'm the principal of the school. I can answer a couple of calls. I'm probably gonna kick back and finish my book. You're okay, divorcee, adventures in singlehood. Good! You're mm -hmm. doing the work. Do you mind if I take the keyboard cleaner? And I'm really sweating it up. Helen, are you nervous? I am, Ralph. You're gonna be fine. I think of old Harold, Sacramento, all right? Wife left him when he was 97, said he was too old. Now he's out there dating, having the time of his life. Or, or maybe not, this was published in 2013. He's probably dead. Oh, well, now I'm half nervous and half sad. <laughs> Congratulations, Ralph. You made me into an actual teen. Are you too angsty to do a handshake with your principal? Never. We, we got, got this! <laughs> Thank you, Ralph. Hey, get going, little missy. The bell rang ten minutes ago. Oh, my God. Out of my way, boomer. <laughs> she has a little White House replica right inside of her door, so Anthony and I can plant the glitter bomb and retreat very easily. We just need... We need somebody to distract Granny Shitbird. We need the ultimate distractor. What about you, Sarika? You seem like you go into a lot of stores and ask to speak to the manager. Only if the customer service is subpar. You ask to speak to my manager. It's called a hairnet, Grace. Okay, no, but we need a true distraction here. If it comes to it, I'd be willing to show my, uh, kazoo. Huh? You, no, no, come on, no. And please never tell us what you're referring to. Hey, yo, Mr. G, what if it was this? Let's say it's raining, I've got my shirt open, of course. I walk up and I'm like, Maybe I saw you at the movies, girl. Maybe I saw you at the car wash. I can't remember where I saw you, girl. But I remember that I liked it, girl. Cancel the sectional. That bitch is going to need a coffin. Very smooth. Very smooth. Hi, teach. Sorry, I'm tardy. Oh, son of a... My apologies, Mr. Bones. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if it's a mister, but I'm assuming it's hard to tell with their groin once the flesh is boiled off. Historically, most of those are made from male hobo bodies. And, you know, the lady hobos don't donate their bodies as much. Isn't that a head scratcher? Anyway, I don't mean to distract from the learning, so uh, take it away, Mr. Griffins. Yes, please continue the lesson, Mr. Griffins. As you can see, I've drawn a, a popcorn maker, which is the perfect thing to picture the orderly chaos within each human cell. And then we got talking about a, a biological phenomenon known as distractors. Oh! <clears throat> it seems to, uh, I put my backpack, I took it off while I was sitting, and it somehow hooked to the top of my undergrunders. It's just, <clears throat> I just gotta free myself from this little trap here. You, y'all, can you... Uh... Unzip that big zipper back there, but just do it real slow. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna launch into the blackboard. I'm basically a bullfrog in a slingshot right now. Oh, God, that hurts. That is bad. Hold, you got yeah, pull. No, that's the wrong way. My pork tenderloin is, I'm not gonna be able to sit on a bar stool for like a year. Looks like we found our distractor. I'm just glued. I'm glued and I'm flossed. <laughs> 